Right, the final question, the dreaded inclined plane. A rough plane is inclined at an angle of alpha to the horizontal, and they're giving us uh, the fraction relationship for alpha. A body of mass 80 kilograms lies on the plane. The coefficient of friction between the body and the plane is mu. Right, let's set that up first of all then. So there's alpha, there's my body. That's going to have a mass of 80, so its weight is 80 g. The normal reaction is perpendicular to the plane, which then creates that angle there. Um, the body's on the point of slipping down the plane, so we'll have friction acting to prevent that. And that's all the information that we've got for A and B. So I am going to take plus X to act parallel to the plane and plus Y to act perpendicular. And plus X is down because that's the way that it's trying to move. But it doesn't matter as long as, long as it's clear that if you have a positive up, then that's fine as well. As long as all these signs are correct. Okay, so on the point point of sliding. Now because it's on the point of sliding, that means we're in limit in equilibrium. Equilib. And that means that the friction is at its maximum possible value. Okay, so if I sum the X forces, I'm gonna have 80 G, and this remember is where the components flip, so the horizontal is going to be actually the sine alpha, minus F, there's no acceleration, so that equals zero. When I resolve in the plus y direction, I'll have r minus 80g cos alpha equals zero. And I'll also have that f equals f max, which is mu r. Right, what do I want to find? I want to find the normal reaction, which I can get straight away from two and then the value of mu. Um, I know that sine of alpha is 3 fifths, so opposite is 3, hypotenuse is 5, which means cos of alpha, so I've got a Pythagorean triple there, 3, 4, 5, cos alpha will be adjacent over hypotenuse. So from Two R will be eighty G times four fifths. So eighty F times point eight. So it's six two seven point two Newtons. Should run it to two significant figures because we're using G. We always have both. So to two sig figs, that'll be six, 30 newtons to SF. So that's the normal reaction. Find the value of mu. So um, I know R from one, F is 80 G times three fifths. Is four calculate that says four seventy, I read four forty. Therefore mu is going to be F over R, which would be four seventy point four 
over 627.2. So divided by 627.2, or 0.75. So mu is 0.75. So I've done A, which is the reaction, and I've done B, which is mu. Part C. Calculate the magnitude of the force acting along the line of greatest slope that will move the body up the plane with an acceleration of 0 0.7 meters per second. Right, I'm going to move on to a new page for C then. So the diagram changes slightly. Because now what we've got is we've got the ATG we've got the reaction but this time now we've got something pulling it up the slope so my acceleration is going there and it needs to accelerate at a rate of 0 0.7 meters per second squared so my friction is going to act in that direction um, and because it's moving, it's at its maximum value that we've already worked out. Okay, so I'm going to take direction of motion to be positive, so that changes this slightly now. And what I want to work out, I want to work out what P is. So we're now in the world of Newton's second law because it's not stationary. So I'll have P minus F minus 80 G sine alpha equals the mass which is 80 times the acceleration which is 0 0.7 um, now within that equation I know what F is I've worked it out before it's 470.4 I know what alpha is so I've got everything I need there to work out what P is so P would be 80 times 0 0.7 plus F which is at its maximum 470.4 plus 80 G sine alpha and sine alpha is 3 fifths okay here we go. So I've got 80 times 0 0.7 plus 470.4 plus 80 G times 3 fifths 996.8. which to one significant, uh, sorry, two significant figures is going to be a thousand newtons. So there you go. That was the dreaded inclined plane question.